All right, problem 9e asks, um, if the initial condition is x naught is 3, 2, meaning there's three juveniles and two adults, express x sub t equal to a to the t times x naught in terms of eigenvectors and eigenvalues. So the thing you want to remember is that the whole idea is that you can write x sub t as an i. So you can do it with the diagonalization. That's not that I'm going to do it. I'm going to think of it as c1 lambda 1 to the t d1 plus c2 lambda 2 to t d2, which very, very generally is telling us that x sub t is equal to c1 lambda 1 is 6, so 6 to the t power times v1, which is 2, 5, plus c2 lambda 2. 2 to the t, which is negative 1 to the t, times v2, which is 1, negative 1. Our only job, really, is to figure out what c1 and c2 is. So we can start with plugging in t equal to 0. So x0 is 3, 2, equal to c1 times 6 to the 0 is 1, plus c2 times negative 1 to the 0 is also 1. So then we can solve this equation, right? We have... 3 equal to 2c1 plus c2, and 2 equal to 5c1 minus c2. We happen to have a nice situation here where if you add these two equations together, the c2s will cancel out. So I'm going to add these two together. 3 plus 2 is 5. 2c1 plus 5c1 is 7c1, and this plus this is 0. So c1 equals 5 over 7. And then I can solve this one for C2. C2 equals 3 minus 2 times C1, which is 5 sevenths. So that's going to be 21 sevenths minus 2 times 5 is 10 sevenths, 11 sevenths. So my answer here for this question is that x sub t is equal to, mm, yeah, let me write it on the other side, actually. Which I should have erased ahead of time. Oh, terrible. Sorry about that. So we have that x sub t equal to, so c1 was 5 sevenths. So we have 5 sevenths times 6 to the t times the vector 2, 5. Plus c2, which I just said was 11 sevenths times negative 1 to the t times um, 1 negative 1. And if you plug in 0 for t, you get 5 6 times 2 plus 11 7 times 1, which is uh, 5 7, sorry, not 5 6, which is going to be 10 7 plus 11 7, which gives you 3. And then for the second coordinate, you get 5 7 times 5 plus 11 7 times negative 1, which is 25 7 minus 11 sevenths, which is 14 sevenths, which is 2. So that gives you the initial condition. The other thing to say about this is this can also tell you what the stable age distribution is of juveniles to adults. So right, if you actually write this out as one vector, it's kind of gross looking, but it's, so this times this times this, so 2 times 5 sevenths is 10 sevenths times 6 to the t, and 11 times 1 is 11 sevenths, times negative 1 to the t, divided by, sorry, not divided by, <laughs> oh, terrible, uh, just delete that, I won't, but I should, uh, 5 7 times 5 is 25 7 times 6 to the t, and then minus 11 7 times negative 1 to the t. And again, this is the number of juveniles at time t and the number of adults at time t. So if you want to know the ratio of juveniles to adults, you take the jt divided by at. That's just this number divided by this, which is going to be kind of gross, but bear with me for a moment. So 10 sevenths times 6 to the t plus 11 sevenths times negative 1 to the t divided by 25 sevenths, 6 to the t minus 11 sevenths times negative 1 to the t. You can either say, well, clearly this, this part's the dominating part, 
you get six to the t is going to get really, really big as time goes on, and negative one to the t is going to just go back and forth between one and negative one, um, which means that six is the growth rate, right? The larger eigenvalue is the growth rate. Every iteration, we're going to multiply by six, essentially, so it's not going to really matter. Or you can even divide everything by six to the t. I divide everything by six to the t, check this out. You get 10 sevenths times six to the t over six to the t plus 11 sevenths times negative one to the t over six to the t over 25 sevenths, six to the t times over six to the t is one plus, sorry, minus 11 sevenths. Um, negative one to the t over six to the t is negative one over six to the t. And now look what happens as t goes to infinity. So as t goes to infinity, or if we take the limit as t goes to infinity, well, look what happens. 6 to the t or 6 to the t is just 1. So you get 10 sevenths times 1. And negative 1 to the t or 6 to the t goes to 0. Right? Negative 1 6 to the t power, as t gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, that gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So that's 10 sevenths plus 0 over 25 sevenths plus that's going to go to zero as well as t goes to infinity. So we get 10 sevenths to 25 sevenths, or multiplying top bottom by seven, 10 to 25, dividing top bottom by five, two to five. So the ratio of juveniles to adults is two juveniles to five adults, just like we found from the eigenvector. Right, that's why the eigenvector that goes with the bigger eigenvalue is the one that tells you the stable age distribution because the other one ends up not mattering at all. That's it.